How to update a Spectrum Smart Charger. It's easy. I'm going to show you step by step. It only takes a few minutes. You're going to need a home computer. This screen right here opens up. You and you'll need this Spectrum Smart Charger USB update cable. Let me show you this cable in depth because I think it's possible that you might already have one and you don't need to buy one. Even this charger is updatable. I've updated it. I've had this for two years. The person before me probably had it for two years and someone before them had it for two years. Once I updated this, now it's capable of charging the LiPo high voltage batteries. Many, many, many things are updatable, folks. Many things. This is a good one. Plug it directly in the wall or off your car battery if you wanted. For another story, but this has been completely underwater and dried out. Still works. Before I show you this uh, USB program cable, let me tell you my own story about this Spectrum S21 charger. So it has a USB plug on the side, right? And I was at the field and I wanted to charge uh, my phone. And I plugged in my USB cable to charge my cell phone and it didn't work. It acted like the USB plug was just simply dead. And I unplugged it, plugged it back in, and I, I could never get the USB program cable, or not program cable, the USB outlet to work, right? So a couple of weeks later, I was updating this charger for the very first time. And once I updated it, the menu choices inside the charger changed. Like so many more choices popped up. And one of them was the ability to turn this USB on and off. <laughs> you know, who, who would think that there's an ability to turn it off and on inside the charger? So, system settings, USB charge on or off. I have the ability now to turn it on or off. USB charge wasn't even on the menu. A lot of this stuff wasn't on the menu. I don't think volume was on the menu. I don't think uh, I, there was a lot of stuff that wasn't wasn't there. I don't think the self test was there. So it's very 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 important to update. Look, calibration one, calibration channel two, system info right here, operating system one point one point zero point two zero. That is what we're going to update it to right now. I just updated it before before we started filming this, but I had 0.17 on there. Now, before I updated it and found out that the USB was able to be turned on and off, I think it was like I think it was like 0.03 or something. But now I have 0.20 and just 5 minutes ago it was 0.17. So here's this USB program cable part number SPMXCA100 this is what it looks like there's the back of it you need to pause it for any reason but I said that you may have this already because now don't quote me on this but this is a 3.5 millimeter headphone audio jack. This is audio, so it does microphone and sound. And you can tell the difference because it has several different connections. You see the little black line between each one? So this plug has four different connections. Let me show you another one real quick so you can see the difference. I don't know what this uh, audio jack is exactly for, but I just have it. And you can see that it has three connections. It only has two black lines compared to the one we're going to be using has the three black lines separating being four, you know, metal surfaces to 
conduct a signal through and the other one has three. So this being a audio microphone, it's called an audio jack. And then this is a USB plug to go into your computer. And then it has the ability to plug that into it. So what you're doing is just converting the USB A to a audio jack. Now, I don't know if there's anything special inside of here or if it's just converting it to an audio jack, which it might be. And once you're plugged into your computer, then the way you uh, update your, your charger is right here. So let me show you step by step on your home computer running a Windows program how to access the Spectrum RC file share, and how to find your charger, and how to update your charger. It's step-by-step, step, takes about five minutes, guys. Okay, like I just said, if you haven't already received permission to access the Spectrum RC file share download hub inside of Google Drive, then this is how you do it. It's fairly easy. Go to SpectrumRC.com. You have to log in. That's a fact. Then you'll go to uh, Support and drop down over here to Downloads and click on that. And here's our download portal. And they have set things in different categories, but it's all going to lead you to the same place, which is the Spectrum RC file share in the Google Drive. For example, we'll click here real quick just to just to see, and it takes you right here to Google Drive. Okay. Once you have completed the process that we just did, you don't have to do that anymore. Now you would just go to Google. This is Google on my home computer right now. And in the top right hand corner, we have these nine dots in the shape of a square. You would click on that and then click Drive. Now this is the cloud. You know, this is where the this cloud storage and this is where Spectrum shares their files with, uh, with us through the drive. So you can click on your drive. Once you're inside your Google Drive, you click right here where it says shared with me. And then that brings you to this. And right here is Spectrum RC file share. You double click that. Now, here's all the goodies that Spectrum shares with us to download and update and so on. We have, you know, AS3X, the safe select settings for the 636 receivers and all the smart receivers. Plus we have transmitter preset files for the DX and the NX and IX and even the DX8 Gen 1. That goes with the same as the uh, 7S. And then the DXE transmitter is very programmable. I've done several videos on that. But here's some preset uh, files for it if you don't want to custom program it. And there's lots of other stuff in here. And all the directions to this is all down here. You can click on the README stuff for directions. But we are doing smart chargers. So here's smart chargers and some other stuff. And smart chargers again. And smart chargers again. My charger is in the G2 user interface. Yours might be in the G1. You'll just have to look. And I just clicked on the G2. Now, I need to find my charger. I have an S2100. And once you find your charger, then you need to find the latest update. Okay. This S21 right here says version 1.1.0.2. This S2100 is 1.1.0.20. Over here is point three. Why they're not in order, I don't know. Here's seven, 17. So this 20 is the most latest and greatest for my charger. And you would click the dots here and then you would click download. Everybody's computer is different. I'm going to download it, save it to my desktop. Once I get to my desktop, I will have to extract the files. So download. I'm going to download it. And then I'm going to save it to my desktop. 
Now, here it is in the top left on my desktop, and you see a zipper. It needs to be unzipped. So I'm going to right-click the mouse and extract all and extract. Everybody's computer is a little bit different. So now we have this folder, and I'm going to double-click on it. And here's our S21 charger. I'm going to double-click on it. And then this SCU is what you want to double-click on. So after we click on the SCU and then we find our S2100 charger, it, this screen right here opens up. You might have to click yes, yes, accept, kind of like I did. Everybody's computer is different. Everybody's, you know, safety is different, what have you. My charger is now plugged in to the wall. It's lit up. I have the USB program cable plugged into the side of my computer. And I'm going to plug the program cable into the charger and look at the bottom down here where it's in red. It says connect the device failed. I'm plugging it up now. And bam, it turned green. I'll, I already have this 0 0.20 version, but if you did not, you would just click update and it only takes a few seconds. Here's a list of the things that it changed. What I'm after is number four, and that's why I did this a minute ago. Battery firmware update for Spectrum. G1 and G2 batteries. Well, I hope that helped you guys. I hope you guys get to update your smart chargers now. The whole reason why I'm updating my charger right now is to, in another video, get this Spectrum G2 battery to work. I think it needs an update. My friend said it was no good, and I think that it needs to be updated, and then it will work. Yes, batteries get updated as well. So, hey guys, if you get anything out of my videos, a laugh, a help, a, a, a cry, a knee slapper, uh, whatever, give me a thumbs up and make sure you're still subscribed. The, the next jet giveaway, we are halfway to. So the best way to support what I do is to give me a thumbs up, make sure you're uh, subscribed. A lot of people have unsubscribed on accident. So double check that you're subscribed. A thumbs up. Comments are great. And hey, until next time, you'll see me here and you'll see how I fix this battery in the next video. Thank you guys. Until next time, you'll see me here.